peace be to you. Today we celebrate the solemnity of ascension of our Lord. As Jesus completed his mission, he came down from the Father, goes back to the Father. The Gospel invites us to be the evangelizers that we must preach the gospel of Christ, Jesus, the world Messiah, to the ends of the earth by the forgiveness of sins. This mission will be carried out by St. Paul and by the church and by us all. So, this is the first invitation as he goes back to the father's house to all of us to preach this kerygma, Jesus is the Messiah. And Jesus took them up to Bethania, they walked with Jesus. St. Luke presents a kind of exodus, God was deliver, God has delivered the people of Israel from the point of slavery from Egypt and led them to the promised land. Jesus now leads the people. The exodus was going on, the resurrection made the free people free from the slavery. Jesus is leading the people towards the point of great freedom. And Jesus raised his hands and blessed them. The final point of his liturgy, liturgy of Christ's mission is at the complete stage. So, the high priest Christ Jesus blesses his disciples and they were going to be the witnesses. The disciples are not just eleven, but some of the women also included over there. So, there was a great group of people and they were called to be witnesses of God and they worshipped him. St. Luke presents first time that the disciples worshipped Jesus. It is a time of great awe and grace, the disciples worshipped Jesus. They worshipped him with the message of joyful posture to walk in the highway of the world with the good news. So, after worshipping Jesus, it is the culmination of the gospel. After the worshipping Jesus, they go out with the joy, with the joy of good news. The good news, the joy started by Jesus, the preaching started by Jesus did not end. It starts with each one's heart and till it reaches the climax of joy, it goes on, it goes on. So, the very purpose of Jesus' life in this world we read in 2.10 Luke that, Behold, I am going to present to you a most joyful message. And after the ascension, the disciples came back with a joyful heart. So, this is the joy for which Christ's whole life was here on earth. And it is to give joy to every human being in his heart.
so when we receive jesus we receive joy and the gospel started in the holy city hence in holy city the holy city is purified jerusalem and also the gospel started in the temple yensen temple and the primitive commun community of the disciples they started living at the temple through this the word of god reached the ends of the earth dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus the joy jesus has started must begin in each one of our hearts carrying the message of jesus carrying the love of jesus the joy is that god has made jesus for us and for the salvation this is the joy this is the joy for which we have to be we have to be jubilant we have to be more joyful so let us thank the lord for the gift of jesus for the gift of great mercy of jesus and his continuous presence through the resurrected lord and the special continuation of the animator the holy spirit heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us thank you lord for this beautiful day be with us strengthen us lord for we are your children give us the same joy that the disciples possessed after getting blessings from you lord when we go away from the worship give us the same joy when we go away getting your blessing give us the same joy lord so that at the end of every liturgy we may worship and go back with the great joy lord we ask this through christ our lord amen